Good morning, Cyber Traders. How's everybody doing on this lovely Friday? On the 9th of 20, on the 21st of Friday. Good to see you. Happy Friday to you too, Donna. Happy Friday. Ed, Craig, good to see you. Deb, all right. Glamour, good to see you. All right, guys, let's get right into it. First of all, the party is over for TLRY. I told you, it was a big short squeeze. You know, um, I'm going to tell you a funny story, but... Let me just bring up the TLRY trade. Um, the in my building, uh, some of you've been to our office here at at, at uh, here in New York, and uh, I was walking out of my office and I was going to my car, and uh, you know, in my office is a lot of brokerage firms and you know, uh, there's a lot of offices. It's a pretty big building, so the owner of the the uh, uh, coffee shop runs up to me and says, Fausto, Fausto, dude, what's going on with TLRY? They told me to buy it. Is it is it going up? Is it going down? I mean, I still have it. You know, I made so much money. Now I lost a lot of it. What do I do? What do I do? And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, buddy, the party's over. Why don't you tell me you owned it from day one? He's like, what do you mean the party's over? The thing went up so much. I'm like, yeah, and it's going to go down. It's got a big short squeeze. That's why it went up the way it went up. And it's like, what the hell's a short squeeze? And he's like, I, you know, was, uh, I had to kind of explain to him what a short squeeze was. I'm like, that's the only reason why the stock went up this high. And we've been there. We've done it. You know what I mean? So, guys, listen. It was just a matter of time when this thing was going to crash. I mean, if we knew it was going to go to 300, we wouldn't be here, you know? Uh, if I, you know, there's a lot of things. If I knew there was uh, oil in, uh, in, my, in somebody's backyard, I would have bought the house, whatever it is. If I knew, you know... What it is, what it is. But you know what? When you're here every day and you deal with these stocks every day, you just know how it's going. But meanwhile, like all the uh, the brokerage firms, the stock brokers in the building, they're like they're, they're, you know, talking about it. Says, oh, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, it's a totally different animal when you're a trader and a broker. And, and, and you know, I, um, so what happened was he ran into his room. He says, if I was you, I would sell it immediately. So he went into his, um, he went into back into his uh, coffee shop, and he tried to sell it in after hours. He called his broker; they wouldn't even allow him to uh, to sell it online. And it's another mistake that they made. But anyway, you can see the stock taking a big hit now, and uh, you know, let's see what what happens where it goes. But party's over, guys. Time to go to the next one. Yep, it's the same thing. Like like you know, same thing like Bitcoin. You know, when the word goes out, you know, it's all about. Remember, I did an event yesterday, and the biggest thing I told everybody is how do these things go up and go down? Supply and demand. That's it. Supply and demand. So when there's a big demand, and everybody was tweeting about Bitcoin, and they were all at the expos, they were doing all these, these talks about this and that. Yeah, you know what? It's a demand. It's a demand. You know, and now where it where is it? Just like uh, just like this TLRY, everybody's jumping on the bandwagon. But remember, this is what we all know about. Anyway, there's 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 other there's other fish to fry. But uh, let's let's move on and and talk about what's going on this morning. First of all, a lot of people made money yesterday on the TLRY yesterday. You know, just a couple of quick little shout outs. Nancy made ten bucks. Ben made ten bucks. Ken made five bucks. You know, a lot of people traded the uh, the ASCMA. Let me bring up that one, the ASCMA, and that one was also another nice one. Let me just see you can bring the time frame. That had a nice pop, beautiful, beautiful Fausto flag right around there. Cheap little stock. Everyone did pretty well. Steve made twenty five cents. Thomas stayed thirty three cents. I mean, you guys just give yourself a little round of applause. Great day yesterday. And uh, we also traded that this other stock that did really well, the the uh, the NB the NBEV. That was was such a great mover yesterday too. That one, look at that, dollar twenty to seven dollars. Great great mover. A lot of people, you know, not no really big big winners. You know, not as sexy as the ten dollar winners and so on. But you know what? Jerry made twenty cents. Neil K made twenty cents. Jeff made fifty cents. Steve made ten. Uh, 74, 74 cents, you know, give all those guys a round of applause. Good job, team. All right, well, guess what? That party is over. Yeah, no biggie, right? You know, temp listen, money's money. That's at the end of the day. But anyway, listen, this, that's yesterday. That party's over. 
You know, you could hear people crying and talking about it. Let's talk about and fry our new fish, you know, and show what's going on. Now, remember, today is Friday. Uh, is coming up the weekend. So you don't really find too much going on, too much volatility, but we'll see how things work out. All right, so far, the uh, the big stock on my watch list is this one right here. All right, uh, this uh, GTXI. Now, if you got it a little bit earlier, everyone should have been in around it, around a buck 75. Is it too late to get in? I don't know, it's only down freaking, down 90, 90%. I mean, the stock closed at $23. Holy cow, I mean, would they kill somebody? First of all, let me tell you something. I love, 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 love bottom fishing. This is my favorite. Love bottom fishing. I love stocks that get crushed like this. And then you, you get the you get the people that come in the morning and try to average down and try to make it back. So right now, the number one stock on my list right now, if you haven't got in already, is the GTXI. All right. Phase two, um, phase two failed. That's pretty bad. I know there's three phases. But uh, phase two is uh, pretty bad. But is that is that everything that they had? I mean, it's still uh, pretty expensive stock at twenty five dollars. You know, you want to play around with these pharmaceutical stocks, guys. You got to you're playing with fire. You got to be really careful when it, when, you, when you joke around with it. But anyway, let's try to capitalize on the um, on the bottom fishers on these. You know, I mean, the uh, the uh, averaging down people in this position. All right, so we got that one. Another one on our list right here is this EGE. Oops, wrong one. The uh, typed it wrong. EGC, there you go. That one's got a nice little push, nice little trend right there. Stock, you could see one from nine all the way down to six, making a little bit of a comeback. It's got a decent spread, 300,000 shares. Got some very good iceberg orders out there. Nice level three quotes. Keep that an eye on that one. DTEA is another one on our watch list. Um, nice little cheap little stock up 44%, 600,000 shares already traded. Look at those level three quotes, orders everywhere. And not even orders, look how big the orders are. 10,000, 11,000, a lot of big orders out there. Like that one stock a lot too. Um, let's see how it breaks out, but it looks like it's breaking a nice 52 uh, week high. That one looks pretty good. OASM. Little, um, you know, not the greatest of a movement so far in pre-market, but she's trending up pretty decently. She's got a good little spread up 30%, uh, breaking 52-week highs right now. So that one also looks pretty good. A lot of cheapies today, guys. ASCMA is another one right here. Another little cheapie. That's the one that we're gonna we're gonna cap. We're gonna move in from yesterday to today. We're gonna put that one on our watch list too. Great little move right there. Great pre-market trading. You know. Sometimes they spill over until the next day, and there you have one of them, just like the TLRY. AWSM, another one to put this on the watch list. Uh, she's got a great move yesterday, but she started back off a little bit in pre-market. So I don't know, maybe I'm getting a little turned off. You know what? I'm going to scratch that one out. Let's forget about that one. I thought it was pretty good in the beginning. Uh, NVAX. Everybody remembers NVAX. We trade NVAX so many times. Uh, NVAX, we know, can move. It's a little cheap little stock. Everyone can afford to trade this stock. If, you, if you're afraid to do any trades, this is probably one that's right up your alley. Uh, that will get you all, the, that will get the butterflies out of your stomach. GTXI is another one right here. Oh, I, I'm sorry. That one's already on. Where is it now? Is it up? Eh, it's kind of holding within that 240, 270. Let's see how, if it trends up. The LEVB is the last one on our list. Another little cheapy right here. Look at the level two. Mainly all buyers, no sellers out there. Uh, stock was three dollars not too long ago. Another one that made a really nice move from yesterday and would spill over into today. So that one looks pretty good. So Ben, uh, uh, two fifty uh, resistance worth watching. Seventeen k iceberg order on the GTXI. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, Ben. 14,000 shares is peanuts compared to 4 million already trading pre-market. But, you know, we'll definitely keep an eye on that. You know, we're always looking for those big iceberg orders in pre-market. But that uh, that thing is trading some crazy volume right now. But it looks like a fun stock to trade. And we all know what that number means, right, too, Ben? When, when stock ends in zero. Remember that one. 250, we know that number very, very well. 
All right, guys. So those are our watches that we watch list we're going to do going into this morning. And uh, yeah, there's your order right there. Boom. It looks like it got taken out right there. 250. You got just taken out. All right. So it looks like it's going up a little bit of bottom fish. Hopefully everybody got a little piece of it so far. But uh, the buck 75 was really a good price. All right, everyone. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Let's see if we can make some money with these stocks. And hopefully all of you here that are new to CT, you're enjoying it and having a great time. And just, uh, just sit back, look, listen, and learn. And if you like it, let's make some money together and join the team. If you don't, that's okay too because it's not for everybody. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And if I see anything else, I'll go out there and share it. See something, say something. If I don't see you going to this week, uh, this afternoon meeting, enjoy, you, enjoy your weekend. See you back on Monday. Happy trading, everyone.